Uh, my name's Clayton Gallo. I'm uh, from Burnstown, Ontario, Canada. And I'm basically just here to tell you about my uh, first night out in this magical city, the city that is Sydney. My name's Chris. And I know Clayton from uni. My name's Craig. I met Clayton at the start of last year. Are you looking at... Yeah, I'm not meant to look at the camera. It was the autumn of 2004. I remember because the leaves were just changing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, 2005 was last year, wasn't it? It's the autumn of 2005. The leaves have changed. Balmy nights were no longer. I was having a get together. Yeah. Clayton turned up with a couple of other friends. After discussing what types of drinks he should get, and after I told him to get a bottle of no, Bacardi, almost bought it and then found out that was $3 more than in Canada and said, nah, put it back, ran to the shelf, picked up a bottle, a box of goon. Which is obviously four liters of wine in a, in a box and inside the box is a sack, which you know makes it quite convenient that you can just take it out and kind of pour it around and just pour it down your throat whenever you need to have a drink. At the start, I'd only just moved into the house, maybe a month. So I'm getting to know my new flatmate. And then so Clayton and a few of my mates rock up and they get smashed, especially Clayton. And then all of a sudden he's wandering around on the tiles out the back, looking for something underneath the chair, it's pitch black dark. And we're asking him, what are you, what are you doing? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Because he's too proud to admit that he's lost a tooth. And I'm crawling around and people are like, Oh, what are you looking for, man? What are you looking for? I'm like, ah, oh, nothing, nothing. Don't worry about it, you know? Like, I'm just here having a good time, you know? I just want to check out your ground. Uh, the next scene that I remember is actually when we're actually getting out of the cab in the city. I don't recall anything between there and there, but... Um... We all get out. We're on one side of the road. We've got to get to the other side of the road. And Oxford Street's at about, you know, 9.30, 10 o'clock. It's quite busy. Not for Clayton. I decided, all right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and have myself a good time. So I just kind of run out into the street and I'm like, oh, I'm dancing around, you know. There's just traffic flying all around me. Like, it's basically the same scene, but forget the median. There's no median. It's just the lines on the road, you know, just out there, just having a good time, just dancing up a storm. It looked like he was trying to dance. It was as though the energy of the world was just meshing with me, you know, in my crazy drunken state. So that I knew that I wasn't going to be hurt and I was just going to have a good time with this. But, you know, of course, if you look on that from the outside, it doesn't look that way at all. But it wasn't happening for him. I wouldn't really call it dancing. I don't know what it was. Cut to the next scene, which is uh, me trying to get into the bar. And, um, yeah, the bouncers are fine with letting me in, even though I'm pretty much being held up by my mate, Fahad. And uh, so I just start walking up the stairs, and then all of a sudden, I fall up the stairs. Bouncers are like, oh, no, 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 you're not going in there, so. I got kicked out. I thought I got punched in the face, but apparently not. So <laughs> and I'm like, all right, it's time for me to go. And uh, so Fahad's like, oh, man, 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 I'll go with you. I'll go with you. I'm like, no, 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 man, you stay here. Have a good time. I'm just going to go cruise through the city and see if I can find my way either home or to another bar or something. Just have a good time, have a little bit of an experience with it, you know? I got to get to know this city a bit better. So basically the next two hours of my life consisted of being really, really lost but following what looked like a main street, I now know to be George Street. Somehow I made my way to George Street, I don't know how. So eventually I found my way to Chris's place. And it's what, four o'clock in the morning? Or I don't know, it's something, it's some ridiculous hour. Uh, the girl in the front room, he knocks on the front door and she opens the door and the gate's still there. I'm like, hey, um, what's going on? I'm just Clayton, I was here earlier. I was, you know, I'm one of Chris's mates. Um, just need a place to crash, if that's all right. I'm, I'm just a little bit lost. I can't make it back to Penrith tonight. She's like, ah, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know you. I, I can't let you in. I'm like, ah, oh, all right. Um, is it cool if I sleep on your, your porch though? Because there was a mattress there, a spare old mattress. And she's like, no, no, that's okay. So he's tipped the mattress down onto the tiles, slept on that. Got cold. And then later on, it's, it's gotten freezing cold because this is just going into summer. No, it was- Oh, sorry, autumn. It was just coming into winter. Yeah, well, it was autumn. Remember, the leaves were changing. Yeah, yeah. It's almost but spring by this stage. Did we decide it was autumn? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Okay. And so, <laughs> anyway, it gets too cold him being on top of the mattress, so he decides to use it as a blanket. So he gets underneath the mattress, 
so he's on the tiles using the whole mattress as a blanket. And uh, for a while that felt pretty good until, you know, basically the concrete started sucking the life out of me. So he changes that, walks up the street, still drunk, going through rubbish bins, looking for something, anything, so he can put over him so he can keep warm. So I found this dumpster and uh, look in there. And sure enough, there's a, a couple of pieces of like area rug that somebody has thrown away. Comes back, I don't know where he went. Rocks up, lays the mattress down, covered in old carpet that's been in the garbage bin. Uh, you know, I try first of all laying on the mattress and then putting the rugs on me, but that provided no insulation whatsoever. So eventually I came up with the final solution where I just threw the rugs down on the, the ground, on the concrete, um, and then I just pulled the mattress on top of me and uh, you know, I get a little bit of heat and I, I'm able to sleep for about 20 minutes. And I, I lay there for an additional two hours and um, then I'm like, okay, this is enough. Like, I mean, there's some light coming. Maybe she won't feel so afraid of me in the daylight, you know? And she finally lets him in to go and sleep on the couch next to the heater. Yeah, that's, that's my first night out in, in, in Sydney. But to be fair, they've improved quite a bit. I think that now I've got a damn patty. You know, I, now I can get rejected from every bar in the world, but uh, not go run out into any streets and not have to sleep on anybody's porch, so yeah. If you're ever gonna have a, a first night in Sydney, that's probably yeah. the best way not to do it. <laughs> Only Clayton could survive that night. Yeah. <laughs>